It's tower 192. There apparently is a passenger opened up an overwing exit and is now on the wing attempting to jump. Can you alert uh, police, please? Welcome. Go to 2104, traffic departure, thanks. Uh, 2104. Delta 192, can you repeat that? Yeah, 192. Flight attendants informed us that there is somebody who opened an overwing exit and is on the wing. Getting ready to jump off. Stop. Hello, and thank you for joining us for episode 68 of the Aviation News Talk podcast, where we bring you general aviation news and relevant information that pilots like you can put to use someday. Today, there was a rather unusual incident at the Atlanta airport that involved a naked man on the wing of an airliner. In a moment, we'll talk about the top 10 lessons that all pilots can learn from this incident. Welcome to Aviation News Talk, where we talk about general aviation. I'm Max Trescott. I'm here to educate and inform you as a pilot or student pilot. And today we're definitely going to have a little fun in the process. And I'm going to talk also about my over 40 years of experience as a certificated pilot. I'm author of the G1000 Glass Cockpit Handbook, the 2008 National Flight Instructor of the Year, and these days a specialist in Cirrus aircraft like the SR-20 and SR-22. Well, top 10 lessons. Let's talk about lesson number one for pilots. And that is that no matter how long you've been flying, there's always something new that happens you've never seen before. Now, I've been flying for over 40 years, and it seems like about once a week something will happen that I'll tell the pilot or student pilot that I'm with that I've never seen or heard something like that before. And that was certainly the case today. For Delta 192 and MD-88, it was on what was pretty much a routine flight from Miami until they landed at Atlanta Airport around 4.32 p.m., according to FlightAware.com. And in their particular case, what turned out to be abnormal was, according to multiple reports, there was a man on the wing of that aircraft banging on the window. Now, the airliner was still on the tower frequency, so apparently this event happened immediately after they had landed. And the landing time matches up fairly well with the time that the first photos and videos started to appear on Twitter. What follows is the audio from the tower that was provided through LiveATC.net. If you're not familiar with LiveATC, I suggest you take your smartphone, go out either to the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store if you have an Android phone, search for these two words, LiveATC, and then find the app that says LiveATC.net. I'm going to include links to the uh, apps in the show notes so you can find them there. I think they're $3.99, and you can listen in to many of the conversations that occur over ATC. So lesson number one is that there's always something new that happens that you have never seen before. And lesson number two is that early information is often incorrect. So, for example, in this case, we had one report, which you'll hear at the very beginning of this audio, and then about a minute later, you'll hear some different information. Here we go. Tower Delta 192. Delta 192, sir. Delta 192, there apparently is a passenger opened up an overwing exit and is now on the wing attempting to jump. Can you alert uh, police, please? Welcome. Delta 2104, traffic departure, thanks. Delta uh, 2104. Delta 192, can you repeat that? Yeah, 192. Flight attendants informed us that there is somebody who opened an overwing exit and is on the wing. Getting ready to jump off. Copy. And stand by, we'll give you additional information. Flight attendants are talking to us right now on the interphone. Okay, all departures are stopped right now. Whoa, did you catch that? That's lesson number three. I'm going to play it again. Okay, all departures are stopped right now. Okay, all departures stop right now. Here's lesson number three. When something very out of the ordinary occurs, stop immediately. Think back to the miracle on the Hudson landing that occurred. First words at the flight 1549 said, uh, this is Cactus 1539, hit birds, we lost thrust in both engines, we're turning back towards LaGuardia. And New York Tracon replied, oh yeah, you need to return to LaGuardia, turn left heading of uh, 220. They read back 220, and immediately afterwards, the controller punched up the tie line to the tower, and he said, tower, stop your departures, we've got an emergency returning. That happened 13 seconds after Cactus 1539 first started transmitting. This controller did exactly the same thing. There was a problem out near the runway, unclear what it was. Stop all departures. So lesson number three, when something very out of the ordinary happens, stop immediately. If you're a controller, shut things down, stop the aircraft movements. If you're an aircraft, stop your aircraft. Number four, shut down your engine. Things can get worse if uh, engines and propellers continue to run, especially if you have anybody uh, who is in an uncontrolled fashion in the vicinity of your aircraft. 
1297, contact departure, good day. Delta 1297, good day. Hey, Tower Delta 192, the, uh, the passenger is uh, mostly naked, running across runway 27 right at Tango. Okay, thank you. Uh, somebody reported possibly seeing him from the tower. Yeah, he's got his hands up. Yeah, he is, uh, he is walking across the runway right now. Okay, thank you. Well, that's a new one. Yeah, first time for us, too. And now that passenger is running back toward the airplane at this time. Okay, thank you. Yeah, we've stopped all ground movement. Uh, they're going to land the outboards. We're not landing 27 left currently, so um, everything stopped. We've got the police on the way. Hey, Tower for Delta 192. We have lost sight of him at this time. I'm not sure where he is in relation to the aircraft. Delta 192, copy. Okay, they have eyes on him, and they said he's under the plane. Yeah, it sounds like he's banging on the airplane trying to get back in, but we're not opening the doors to allow him in, um, obviously. So if you could uh, tell police to hurry up. Okay, thanks. Delta 270, to put the Fletcher with you short. I'll turn up, Papa. Delta 270, copy. Yeah, there's a passenger on the ground right now, so we don't want to move anybody to this. Hey, sir, just mind if I now. Thank you. Hey, Tower Delta 192. We we now had a chance to get the the full story from the flight attendant. What we had apparently, a passenger was outside the aircraft, or individual was outside the aircraft, got up on the wing and was and opened the overwing exit. So the individual who was running around on the runway was not on our aircraft, but he was outside the aircraft and attempted to get in the aircraft from the overwing exit. Okay, thank you. Copy. Southwest 2003, I just closed the runway um, per off request. Did you want to get exit the runway? Uh, huh? Um, we'll, 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 we'll watch the show from here. Okay. Unless you need us to exit. Uh, it's fine. The uh, off uh, runway is closed right now. Okay. Delta 270, at the Papa, officer, do you cross the runway 27 right join Lima, kind of ground point 10 5. 27 right join Lima, ground 7 5, Delta 270. Delta 31 Heavy Cross, runway 27 right, join Lima, kind of ground point 10 5. Cross 27 right, join Lima, port 7 5, Delta 31 is. Tower Delta 192. Delta 196. Delta 192, Tower Delta. Yeah, if you're in communication with the police, we just need to make sure that the area around the aircraft is clear, because we've got both engines shut down until we're clear, and we'll start it back up and resume taxi. Roger. So lesson number five, don't start up again until you're absolutely sure that the entire area is clear around you. Now, it's pretty hard to see what's underneath you if you're in a large aircraft, and certainly you can't see very well behind you in any aircraft if you're strapped into the cockpit. But it's essential to make sure that the area is clear of people and things. So if you're in a GA aircraft and it's safe to get out, you can climb out, take a look around, and make sure that there's nothing close to your aircraft so that you can start it up again safely. Now, of course, if you're at a towered airport and you're out on a runway or taxiway, then you really should get permission first before climbing out of the airplane. Now, lesson number six, I'm not sure this actually occurred in this uh, transcript. When I first listened, I thought I heard another aircraft uh, giving some helpful information. And later in listening to it, I think it was just the uh, two different voices from the same cockpit. But lesson number six, relay information about things that you see that others may not see. There was an accident that was averted many years ago in Detroit when a jet airliner was about to take off with its flaps uh, not extended. And the aircraft behind them spoke up and said, hey, your flaps are are uh, you know not in the proper position and that probably averted an accident right there so anytime you can relay information about anything you see that others may not be aware of definitely speak up and let them know yeah tower just to be advised though they've uh, apprehended the individual they have him secured inside uh, one of the police cars at this time so they should be clearing our area shortly but again we'll probably want operations to just make sure and give us the okay everything's clear around us and behind us so we can start an engine to get back to the gate. Okay, I understand. Um, let me just check the ground. I think the uh, police people are on ground frequency, so I'll see if they can switch into this, so we're on the same frequency. Okay. Another okay, 192, I'm told all the police vehicles are on a different frequency. Off 1 is the one in charge, so I'll get uh, off 1 on frequency. You know what, on second thought, uh, just for security reasons, we don't know what this guy was doing on the outside of the airplane. We're going to leave our engine shut down. We're going to request a tow back in just to take it to the... Uh, extreme on the potential security issues that may have developed as a result of this individual. We're not going to start these engines. We're going to coordinate with company and get towed back in. 
Okay, and uh, I just we're calling on our infrared side as well. Yep, good call, guys. And it's nice to hear multiple pilots calling in there saying good call, kind of encouraging uh, Flight 192. And I think they really did uh, an important thing. They first had a plan, which was they were going to start up and taxi back. And then they thought about it and they said, you know what? Maybe there's a better plan that we could do. And that was to request a tug to come out and have them towed. So just because you come up with a particular solution, don't let that stop you from continuing to think of potentially better solutions. And in this particular case, I'm guessing some of those other aircraft on frequency had already thought about that. They were probably pretty relieved to hear that Delta 192 came to the same conclusion, which was eh, probably not a good idea to start up. Let's go ahead and have ourselves towed in. So always have uh, not just a plan A, but keep thinking, is there a better way that we can evolve this plan to minimize our risk? So if in doubt, don't start up the airplane, go ahead and have it towed. Up one, are you on frequency? Yes, sir, up five. Up five, sir. Sir, up five. Up five, sir, how do you hear? Hear you loud and clear. Um, you know what's, uh, what's the next move for this uh, aircraft here at Tango? Yeah, I was trying to get everybody on the same frequency so we could communicate better. Um, Ops 5, he requested a tug, um, reference the individual and any potential threat there. He doesn't want to start his engine. He wants to be tugged back to ramp. All right, copy that. We'll have a tug um, come over to him and we'll bring him to the gate. Thank you. Hey, Ops 5, this is uh, Delta 192. Uh, are you going to relay to our company? We're also going to try and get all of our company frequencies as well. And uh, we have a test coming from you with someone out right now. They should be coming any minute. Fantastic. Thank you for uh, Delta 192. I appreciate it. Okay, yeah, Delta 192, we've called for the tug. And then Op 5, um, can you do a runway inspection? Roger that. Runway uh, 27 left, I'm assuming. No, 27 uh, right. All right, roger that. 27 right. And Ops 5 for Delta 192. The individual was about 20 to 30 feet into 27 right, just uh, about 100 meters out of the intersection going west. Okay, thank you. All right, copy that, thanks. And Delta 192 and Ops 5. Uh, just additional, it appeared that when the individual came back toward the airplane in the uh, grass between 27 right and taxiway, uh, Tango, he dropped something in the grass, dropped a few things in the grass right there. Did he come off your airplane? Uh, well, initially we thought that was the case, but apparently no. He came up from apparently outside the airplane and attempted to enter it, the aircraft, through the overwing exit. Wow. And he was naked? Well, he had on underwear. Maybe he just wanted to cool off. That's an uncle pilot. Tough DVDs. New hire. And uh, Captain uh, from the MD-88, MD um, what grass was it to your left or to your right? Uh, the, uh, the individual went in the grass right there to your right. So right there by the 27 right uh, uh, sign, the red sign, between us and the taxiway or in ice of the runway is where he was running. So that area looked like he dropped a few things. All right, roger that. You guys might want to consider a walk around. Uh, for Make sure you didn't plan anything on your jet. I did that. What maintenance now? Delta uh, nine and op five. I just want to verify: Are we able to cross this and right at Sierra? And uh, tower op five, they are clear to cross at Sierra. Thank you, Delta nineteen. Twelve cross and we two seven right. Join Mike. Had a call point seven five. Hi, cross twenty seven right at Sierra. Join Mike. Delta nineteen twelve. Number six ninety five. Cross and we two seven right. Join Mike. Had a call point seven five. Cross two seven right. Join Mike. Ground point seven five. Delta six ninety five. Break air 4467, cross runway 27 right, join Mike, how to go point seven five. All right, clear to cross 27 right and uh, join Mike in uh, 2175 on the other side. Tara, could you give the sequence of the first five or so airplanes uh, for takeoff once you open it up? Yeah, um, and we're probably not going to be 27 right, so stand by for the runway assignment. We're trying to figure that out, but right now it's southwest 2003, obviously, Delta 1814, Delta 1646. Delta 2081 and Delta 875. And uh, Captain, um, you said uh, somewhere over here you saw him throw something, correct? Uh, that's affirmative. He ran right where you are, right through that grass area, 
and then ran out onto the runway. I'm sorry, and then, yeah, that's correct, and then turned around and came back. So he was out all in that grass area uh, where you are. Um, and, yes, that's, that is correct. All right, copy that. Thank you. Southwest 2003, Route 726, left for departure. Go ahead, taxi down the runway and make your next uh, right turn off to join Mike and hold short Juliet. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. You know, we're just looking at stuff. Uh, we, uh, we're going to have to go back to the gate to get some more gas. Okay, Southwest 2003, uh, continue down the runway and dog call your turn off. Okay, we'll taxi slowly down the runway and uh, you'll call the turn off, Southwest 2003. And you just heard Southwest 2003 say that they needed to go back to the gate to get more gas. So lesson number eight, reevaluate your original plan based on what just has happened. Does it still make sense to take off, for example? In this particular case, it sounds like the delay on the ground was long enough that one pilot realized that he needed to go back and get more gas. So always reevaluate your original plan and decide, hey, does that still make sense in the context of what just happened? And lesson number nine, defer to the tower to sort things out. <laughs> That's their job. So you can hear that they actually have aircraft taxiing down the runway right now to kind of clear the area so they can kind of figure out uh, who's going to go next and get everybody back in order so they can get the departures headed out of the airport again. Delta 1814, would you be good to go for a 26 left? Yep, we're, yeah, we're good uh, for 26 left for 1814. Okay, Delta 1814, looks like you're at Lima Bravo there. Turn right and taxi down the runway. You could exit uh, Mike 18. And I'll left turn on Mike. Okay, uh, taxi down the runway, Mike 18, and then uh, taxi Mike Delta 1814. Yeah, right Right where you are now, uh, my first officer is saying that that's where he started dropping stuff. He may have picked some of it up, but that's where you are is, is a good a good place to start. That's it. Now the 1646, you can follow your company there, turn right down the runway and just follow him. 1646. Sorry. 1646, turn right, follow company, and then on the runway, hold short of Dixie. Follow company here, 27 right, hold short Dixie, Delta 1646. Southwest 2003, you can make the right turn at Sierra and join Mike, and then ground point 75. Sierra, join Mike, ground point 75. We'll do that, Southwest 2003. Southwest 2003, what ramp are you going back to, you know? He's checking now. Okay, let's do this, just on the runway short of Sierra. Stay on the runway short of Sierra, Southwest 2003. Okay, down short of Sierra for 2003. And tower, uh, just confirmed for Delta 1814, Mike 18, join Mike and uh, cut that ground. Stay on the runway, please, Delta 1814, short of Dixie. Okay, we're staying on the runway, hold short of Dixie for Delta 1814. Delta 2081. We can actually get through there, we've got uh, room to join over on Mike if you need us to for Delta 2081. Okay, stand by just a minute. Delta 875, looks like you're at Lima Charlie. Turn right and uh, enter the runway, hold short at Dixie. All right, right turn 27 right, hold short at Dixie, Delta 875. And ground size 2003, we're going to uh, Charlie 12, so I guess uh, ramp 3. Southwest 2003, Roger, turn right there, join Mike, kind of ground point 75. Okay, right turn, join, to, uh, join Mike, and point 75. Delta 2921, go ahead and make the right turn there, taxi Mike, for the Dixie. I'm on the runway, on the runway, for the Dixie, Delta 2921. Alright, on the runway, please turn right, for the Dixie, Delta 2921. Yes, sir, up five. Up five, go ahead. So we got all um, vehicles clear of the runway. We're going to be trying, we're going to reopen both a 27 left and a 27 right at this time. Up five, up Stop here for 2921. Yeah, this one. Do you want to take, uh, turn back up with the email for a double 2521? Okay, stand by just a moment. We're just coordinating behind um, the here. Alright, Delta 1814. Go ahead make the right turn and taxi Mike and uh, hold short of Lima Charlie, please. Okay, uh, we're turning on Mike and then uh, hold short Lima Charlie on Mike, uh, Delta 1814. Affirm plan for 27 right again, Delta 1814. Roger, we'll do that. Delta 1646, follow your company right turn Mike, Fort Lima, Charlie, plan for 27 right departure. Alright, follow them Mike, and plan 27 right, Charlie, Delta 1646. Delta 1814, you can follow, I'm sorry, Delta 875, 875. 
Uh, follow your company, turn right there, and then uh, Mike Short of Lima Charlie. Follow the company, Mike Short of Lima Charlie, Delta 875. And sorry, Officer, I just want to confirm you're showing runway 27 left and 27 right open at this time? I'll try copy 27 left and 27 right open at this time. All right, that. And, uh, sorry, can you have, um, Delta 192, uh, come up on the discrete 11873? Okay, uh, Delta 192, can you copy that? Uh, give us that frequency one more time, please. 11877. 187, roger that. One plus two, I believe it was. Cross runway two seven right. Let's see the aircraft. Tower Endeavour three three twenty six. Morning, if you can give up the sequence again. I'm sorry, Endeavour thirty three twenty six again. I just wanted to know if you have a sequence or uh, if we're going to be planning using two seven right, I guess. Yes, two seven right is open. All aircraft in line for two seven right. Plan for two seven right departure. Then eleven twenty six. Look for to Lima Charlie. Hold short of Lima Charlie. Delta eleven seventy six. Okay, Delta eight seventy five. Hold short of Char uh, Lima Charlie. I'm just going to get one aircraft off of Lima in front of you for control spacing. Hold short of Lima Charlie. Delta eight seventy five. And finally, lesson number 10, be patient, because it's going to take time to get things unsnarled. When you have that many airplanes uh, that have to get relocated, repositioned, you're just going to have to wait. Okay, and so for the next sequence, Delta 2921 will be first, 1176, Lima Charlie is next, Endeavour 3326, Delta 1814, and Delta 1646. Is 1053 in that mix somewhere? Uh, well, I'll give it to you in a second, but uh, just hold short of Lima Charlie. And uh, you can plan to depart from there. You're about number five for departure. Thank you. Okay, and uh, just for your planning purposes, all two separate departures, we'll just stop for just a few more minutes reference um, conflicting uh, departures on two six left. Now, I actually have a lesson 11 for you, and I'll give that to you in just a moment after our review lessons 1 through 10. So lesson number one, just review. There's always something new that happens you've never seen before. Lesson number two, early information is often incorrect. In this case, they thought it was a passenger that was up on the wing. No, apparently it was somebody who jumped a fence and then climbed up on the aircraft. Lesson number three, when something very out of the ordinary happens, stop immediately. Things can get worse, and so you just want to stop all movement. Number four, shut down your engines, because things could get even worse, especially if you've got anyone in the vicinity of the aircraft. Number five, don't start up again until you're absolutely sure that everyone has cleared the area, that there's nobody underneath or behind your aircraft. Lesson number six, relay information that you see about things that other people might not be able to see. That has certainly helped many other pilots. There are times, for example, when I see simple things like an open baggage door in the run-up area, I'll speak up and let the tower know to notify the aircraft. Lesson number seven, if there's any doubt about the condition of your aircraft, don't start up without having someone inspect the aircraft and consider having it towed. And lesson number eight, constantly reevaluate your plans because as you think things through, you may come up with an even better plan than you originally had. In this case, you might want to be thinking, does it still make sense to take off? Lesson number nine, defer to the tower. Let them sort things out. That's their job. You can, of course, be helpful with uh, suggestions, but they run the show. Lesson number 10, <laughs> be patient. It's just going to take time for things to get unsnarled. And here's lesson number 11. Once things calm down a little bit, everybody's safe and things haven't really gotten sorted out yet, you might as well just sit back and relax. You're not getting anywhere anytime soon, so you might as well enjoy the show. South of 2003, I just closed the runway um, for off request. Did you want to get exit the runway? Uh, huh? Um, we'll, we'll, we'll watch the show from here. And I hope you've enjoyed this show today. And if after listening you find yourself wanting just a little bit more, go visit our Patreon page. That's the place where I post breaking news. And our Patreons, those are the people who support us by donating a few dollars each month automatically with their credit card, they receive an email when I post a new story on that site. If you want to be in the know when I post the latest news, consider signing up to donate a few dollars each month. And you can do that by going out to aviationnewstalk.com slash awesome. 
Also, I want to let you know I've just started to send out notifications on our two dedicated apps for the Aviation News Talk podcast. These are free, and you can just search in either the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store if you're using the Android. And just search for Aviation News Talk, and I'll put a link to both of these apps in our show notes. And in your settings, just go ahead and make sure that you allow notifications from the Aviation News Talk dedicated app, and you'll occasionally receive a notification from me when there's something new to report. And if you think that someday you might buy a new or slightly used Cirrus, please contact me now so I can help arrange a free demo flight for you if you're considering a new Cirrus and also help you to understand the many factors, not all of which are obvious, if you're buying new versus slightly used Cirrus. I specialize in Cirrus and work with people around the world. Until next time, fly safely, have fun, and keep the blue side up. <laughs>